Okay, let's talk about the soil and the soil's composition. And this is the composition uh, of the soil generally above the water table. And this is, these figures vary widely between different types of soils. So this is just give, to give you an idea of uh, the soil's composition. So typically you have 25% air and 25% water. And this is pores because the pores are, are filled with air and the pores can be full of water. If the water evaporates, then uh, we have you know, less water by weight. And, but we have the pores that remain, and if the water evaporates, then the air will just move in, right? But if there's, if there's water, if there's actually water in the ground, in the soil, that water can rise through the soil by capillary action, reach the surface of the soil, and evaporate. And the air in the soil can also the air can rise through the soil and it can be carrying water vapor or water vapor itself because it's lighter than air can rise faster than the air and reach the surface and the reason why I mention that is because when you have crawl spaces the crawl space the surface of the ground can look rather dry but there can be a lot of water and water vapor um, coming into the crawl space, raising its relative humidity and causing moisture problems. Okay, so minerals and organic matter make up 50% uh, of the soil and those are the solids. You have the solids down here, the pores up here, 25% air, 25% water, the rest of the 50% is organic matter and minerals, uh, which is the solids.